Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Got an interesting story for you today. Um, it's kind of funky. My grandson, my oldest grandson, had a basketball game today. First basketball game. Six years old, you know. So it's, it's you're, you're going to go watch him just have fun. Halfway through the game, one of the coaches and one of the referees begin to get in an argument maybe like a hundred people in the gymnasium and they start doing all the stuff bumping chest and everything getting ready to to get involved now me as a parent and a grandparent and having been kind of in situations like that before my first response is to my group now let me preface this by saying I am not ex-military. Uh, I've never served in any way, form, or capacity, law enforcement, anything like that. I am not high speed, low drag. I'm 55 years old. But I got sense in my head and what my daddy beat into it. Dad, his arms. Bring your group together, keep them close. Look for points of egress. You should have looked for a, a, a way to get out of there as soon as you went in. I did. I knew uh, you know, where the exits were and what exits were closest to the road and what exits uh, faced uh, uh, an alleyway uh, adjacent to the Cahaba River. In that situation, my first priority is to get everyone in my group together and get them out. For people carrying I hope I wasn't the only person there that had a gun. But that's in an extreme case. But it feels good to know you have your sidearm with you. And just for those that don't know me, I carry a gun everywhere I go. I carry a gun to church. I'm part of a security detail at my church. Away she goes. So, surround yourself with your people keeping people in a tight group, making egress out of the most convenient, safest way. Safe, the, the fastest way out was down where the two, uh, two guys were arguing and fighting. So we go the opposite direction. So you egress out the safest way you can. Do you have a place to meet? Reasonable enough you can meet out at your cars uh, far enough out into the parking lot. And you make your way on. So, just thinking about that kind of stuff. If you catch yourself in a situation, if you go to a public place, an event, uh, a downtown festival, something like that, be aware of what's going on. Look around you. If, if you are a competent person who can legally carry a firearm, please do so. Um, one of the things that makes me cringe the absolute most is when our group of friends say, I'm not carrying, I knew you were going to carry yours. Thanks. I appreciate that. Make sure that you are confident and you feel comfortable and reasonable in doing the things that you need to do. That's all I got to say. There's nothing wrong with having fun. There's, you, you know, people are going to have arguments and disagreements. When you do it during a basketball game, for a bunch of first graders. There's a time and a place for everything. But when you encounter people behaving badly, know what you're gonna do and respond accordingly. Was it my job to go over there and break up those people? No, I did not care. My job was to get my wife, my son, daughter-in-law, two boys out. My son thinks along the same lines. He's not quite there yet. He's still more of a, a, a peacekeeper. So you have to nurture some people along. My wife knew. Uh, she knew what to do because we talked about this stuff. Sit down with your family. Have a plan. Not like what do you do when the zombies come. Have a reasonable plan. Hey, if we're out and somebody gets in a fight, there's a, an accident outside, you, you know, there's a fire or something like that. What are we going to do? Where are we going to do to leave this restaurant? To leave Walmart? 
have a plan. Keep it. Make sure the other people in your group know the plan. That's all I got to say, guys. Take care of your people. Seriously, take care of your people. Got the bug.